Welcome to my Big IP Load Balancing Training Series. My name is Trevor and I'm the trainer for this video. This video is going to go over SSL termination. In this video we're going to discuss what is SSL termination, what is the advantage to SSL termination on the Big IP, and what does SSL termination give the Big IP the ability to do. Let's begin. SSL termination. Load balancers have the ability to control and manage SSL traffic. One of the many aspects of SSL management is the ability to offload the SSL encryption and decryption from the backend servers to the load balancer. The advantage to terminating SSL traffic at the load balancer offloads the server requirements to perform encryption and decryption for every packet that they send and receive. This results in a large performance boost for the backend servers and allows them to focus their resources on handling client traffic. Another advantage is giving the load balancers the ability to see the payload of application data. This enables the load balancers to make modifications to the application payload or to make intelligent decisions based off of that data. In order for a load balancer to terminate SSL traffic for a website, the SSL certificate and matching RSA private key are both required. The certain key are uploaded and added to the load balancer in the form of a profile. When discussing SSL termination, client side refers to the communication that occurs between the client and the load balancer while server-side refers to the load balancer and the backend server resources. Some customers accept having the load balancer terminate SSL traffic on the client side and allowing server-side communication to exist as unencrypted. Other customers, or compliance that they are required to follow, do not allow for that. In those cases, in order for the load balancer to have the SSL termination advantages, a client-side SSL profile can be created to decrypt the traffic as it comes into the device, and then an SSL server-side profile can be used to re-encrypt that data as it leaves the load balancer to the backend servers. Load balancers have dedicated SSL modules that are specifically built to handle this type of SSL encryption and decryption processing.